Hello and welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday. I hope it's nice and sunny wherever you are. It's certainly is sunny here in California. Uh, today I'm going to show you a tip that is new to 2009. If you're not in an AutoCAD 2009 yet, this will definitely give you something to look forward to. I'm going to go into the mtex command. And of course, we know there's a variety of different ways of doing that. I'm going to type in a T because I'm lazy. Uh, you, of course, could grab it from a menu or type in mtext or whatever. Oh, the last place I was at, obviously, was New York. Uh, so taking a look at the screen, you'll see that the sample text that I have is, says New York, and that's because I changed the mt jig string system variable. That's a tip I shared with you much earlier in the series, and you can go back and take a look at that if you want. We're going to leave it the way it is right now. I'm going to go ahead and just select a, a rectangle that I want my text to fall into. And you will see that as I do that, that the ribbon, which is also new in 2009, automatically changes to reflect the new mtext, the mtext editor, right? So that's kind of a nice feature of the ribbon. I'm going to go ahead and start typing. Today is Tuesday. Of course, that's spelled wrong, but the nice thing about AutoCAD 2009 is it's going to let me know. So now you don't have to go out and use the spell command anymore. You can actually update your text while you're in the mtext editor. So no problem. Double click on that. It's obviously spelled wrong. I'm going to do a right click and you'll see that AutoCAD offers up some nice suggestions. Tuesday's right at the top. Good, smart AutoCAD. Figured that one out. Hey, for more fun, always go select the more suggestions because it's very entertaining. What I really meant to say was today is twisty. <laughs> so I'm going to select Tuesday and uh, the red line goes away and we can all live happily ever after. So, and hey, let's face it, us AutoCAD operators, not exactly known for our great ability to spell. Am I right? So this is a great new feature. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the escape key and you and I both know what happens when we hit the escape key in mtext. We know that we lose all of our text and we've all done this by accident, right? We did the, all this great editing or writing inside of mtext and then we hit the escape key by accident and it all disappeared. Ugh, so frustrating, right? Well, in 2009, you will, you will have the little extra option. It's going to ask you if you're sure you really want to save your text changes. That's a great feature if you, like me, have a tendency to not be paying attention and hit escape by accident. However, some of you may not like this extra step, and some of you may absolutely know that when you hit escape, that it's going to lose your text because, and you want that intentionally, in which case you could say, always perform my current choice. Do you want to save your text changes? You would say no. You could also say yes, but that would mean you could never hit an escape to get rid of your text. So I don't think I would be too crazy about that, right? So uh, where do those hidden messages go? Always is a strong word, isn't it? Just a little added extra today I'm just going to comment to you on. Have you ever wondered, ever wish you could just get back some of those hidden messages? Well, in 2009, if you go to the System tab, you will see there's an option that says Hidden Messages Settings. And it's in here that you will find, here's the one I just turned off for multi-line text. These are the messages which I've turned off using the system and you can come back in here and you can individually turn them back on or you can select, you know, you can select AutoCAD and it'll turn them all on. So whatever works for you. So something for you to think about. Some of you might be CAD managers. You might have a guy in the office who likes to turn off the messages, but let's face it, he probably shouldn't because he needs those little extra prompts. You can go back in and turn them back on for, for him. So those that's quite a few little tips i snuck in there those are my tips for tuesday have a great rest of the week and i'll i'll get back with you next tuesday